stuff together to go wing some calves. A couple weeks behind on this pasture. We ended up with a bad round of some pink eye, so we treated it, got it all cleared up. Now we're gonna move. Basically, we had we went over and to wean everything, got everything in the lot ready to go, and we had pink eye. So instead of weaning, we wound up doctoring for pink eye and turning them right back out. So we'll see how this goes. Because the last time we got them up, we were running them through, giving shots, and disturbing their eyes. So they're probably not going to want to go back in there again. We're using our rawhide portable corral, so if you haven't seen that in use yet, you're about to. Hopefully. Fill her up, Scotty. Liquid gold. Thanks, Joe. Is that off-road? killing us this year feeding salt to try to do away with the flies we're spraying them with fly spray and they're still just pretty out of control I guess we tried everything but fly tags whoop, whoop. come on come on Come on, girls and boys. He's probably going to run out of feed before I can get these out of the shade up there to him. So I'm going to guess we're probably going to have to feed these a day and try to come back tomorrow morning early when it's cool. We may have a chance at it, but they really don't want to get out of the shade today. Don't blame them. Let's get them up here. Let's see how this goes. They smell a mouse. It hadn't been long ago we caught everything in here, so we'll see. Ideally, you'd have this set up with its right side where it sweep, you know, sweep against this fence where you don't have enough flat ground. What'll usually happen is they'll overshoot his truck going back in the pasture, so we'll see. Doesn't look like today's going to work, does it? Maybe tomorrow. 
two, take two. Well, these cows and calves got a little gun shy since we worked them in that raw hide. They don't want to go up to it. We got this old chicken house up here. This is where we used to catch animals. There's kind of an old catch lot. Trying to trick them now. See if maybe they'll go in there. Catch lock came through, didn't it? Well, they're not loaded yet, but they're caught. Well, it's not called a load light, it's called a catch light. Sometimes you gotta use the gator to help hold the fence or the gate shut. So our plan here, we're sorting a few just getting some of these cows out so we've got more space to work with. There's another little section right up there. Back on around, we can send them in that chicken house and we'll back our cow trailer up to the chicken house. So it's not the raw hide. And there's a possibility something could get out or not load, but we'll give it a shot. Eric's running back to the farm to get the cow trailer. It's like quarter of a mile from here, so not far at all. We usually don't bring our cow trailer, because if the cows see it, they start getting a little bit nervous. But I know there's one calf that we missed. It was close to coming in. It started following its mama back out. There was another group that was going in, so I just let him go. So we'll probably have to come catch one calf. There may be more out there, but a majority of them have gone in so they're in this lot. As long as they don't find an escape hole, we might can get them loaded. So Eric's back in the trailer up. We got the gate open to the chicken house. The trailer's backed in. Sometimes you just use whatever you can to uh, block the gaps. That bucket's the best one. Yeah, Eric set that bucket up there so they can't see it. The bucket's the blindfold, man. Yeah. After a few round and round radios, they're all loaded up. Cows are not loaded. Worked out. I think there's still two or three out in pasture. We knew there was one. We hadn't done a head count yet, but we'll take it. Well, it wasn't exactly what we expected or how we planned on the morning to go, but we pretty much got the results we wanted. Minus, what do we think, three? Three or four calves. Four calves are still left. But I feel like I've been swimming. Yeah. It's 8.50 in Alabama and it is humid. How many syllables does a human have? Four. It's hot. It's thick. You can cut the air. Yeah. We're going to go take these and dump them out in a different pasture. Come back probably tomorrow or the next day, go through and work all these, give them a second round of shots, give them some wormer. What else? One or two lost an ear tag. Yeah, well, a couple of them still need steering. One or two still need steering that didn't get steered. We'll be unloading them here. We we'll keep them in a small pen when we first wean them right here by the barn. We can feed them a little bit, keep them close by. We'll 
we'll come back and work them in a day or two. But right now we're gonna throw some pour on wormer on them. Just to try to help with the flies. Isn't this that stuff they treated COVID with? No, I don't have COVID. Well, it keeps you getting it. Uh oh. Somebody broke the tip to our last gun. It's amazing to me how much you blame on other people that you do end it right in the cold. Bless your heart. We'll start this group out in this little pen here. Nothing's been in it, so it's got some good grass for them. Close to the barn, no animals around them, so it'd be a good place to wing them. You ready for them? Single file. Here we go. Come on with it. We've got a small group of some open heifers here. We weaned these a little while back. So we're gonna load these up while we're here and carry them over to another pasture, let them get a little bit bigger, and then we'll be putting a bull with them this fall. Two years ago, it was all trees. But it's been cleaned up. Grass is coming out pretty good. We just got it fertilized with some chicken litter. Time for some heifers. 